Good day and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. Now, for today's episode, I'm actually going to be talking about something while running around and just doing missions, right? I, I have that character who I've raised up to uh, level 60 and I'm just enjoying a little bit of the gameplay with him as I'm getting him up to the 600 cap. 625 cap on all gear items so 625 across all the weapons and all the weapons at level 20 mastery now at current i only have one mastered weapon my second closest weapon is a level 17 so i'm, I'm quite far from finishing off that uh, objective however there is something which did intrigue me quite a bit and that was the possibility of how fast I actually leveled up my character. Now, this may seem a little bit odd, but here's the reality. I ended up uh, taking on the, the role of playing the game on a Thursday. And I logged in trying to log into the game to see if I could get on. And I got on and I played for a few minutes. And that's it. I played for about 10 minutes and I logged off. Then the next day I decided I'm going to play from level 20 or so one of the videos where I talked about me being on and that is what I mean by I've been on for a day before and when I say for a few minutes I mean less than 10 minutes and then I'm off the game. So on Friday I log on and I smashed through the game for the first day. Uh, I, I made a video in that whole process and I don't know where I ended up and then the next day uh, I just came out of a meeting around midday and I jumped into the game and I started pushing hard and within less than half a day I made the video about reaching level 60. So realizing how fast I pushed to level 60 I decided to try and figure out how many hours of gameplay it could take me to reach level 60 if I went onto another server. Now what really propelled me was some of my old tactics and this here is going to be helpful to one or two of you out there because it, it, it may actually help you out with playing the game every once in a while. It's not going to be a guaranteed win every time you play with this uh, tactic so don't take it as oh I'm going to use this tactic and I'm going to be the very best that ever played the game. No, it, it's you might be the very best, you might be the very worst. It all depends on how well you come out of all of this at the end of the day. So here is what I did. The first thing I did when I joined the game was I decided to run in areas that I was stronger than. That meant that there was a lot of XP being shared between me and my weapons. So that there starts breaking up the XP into two. The next thing is I try to discover every location in the starter region. This here allows me to get to each and every one of the teleporting shrines. So once I'm done with for example Windsward, I know that Monarch's Bluff has a little bit of a higher level area in it and I can run around in that area as well. Now remember I started off from level 20 so I did have that 20 cap uh, helping me out. So altogether from 0 to 60 was approximately 3 days. So yeah that is a real fast uh, increase in uh, player level. So I went around and I started to look at a lot of those shrines getting my ability to teleport around the map because speed equals leveling. So if you can move around twice as fast you can get twice as much XP. So I go to an area and I'll just try and wipe. I'll try and wipe, 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 get as much XP in, get as much XP in. And that is how I managed to get to where I was for the most part. And I honestly can say that it was one of the smartest moves I pulled um, at that time. And after that there I went for something a little bit more crazy by my own uh, admission. I decided to push even harder in the game and I went after the main storyline. Now the main storyline is about 70k XP altogether. Sorry about that, just trying to make sure that I uh, help that other guy without having him have every single sniper on his back. So anyway, uh, 
that's exactly what I did. So I got all my locations and I started pushing into the story. Now the story will give you a ton of XP. However, there is something that gives you even more. And that is by keeping the faction quests going while you're at this as well. So you charge everything you can that is within your level and you charge at it with all your might. This is gonna break you through level uh, 30, level 34, level 35, and you're starting to increase towards end game levels. Now, obviously, when I say end game levels, I don't mean that you at the very limit of uh, any and all gameplay. I just mean that you're reaching quite strong levels of gameplay. Uh, certain games end game is when you're doing only expeditions and other ones is where you have this high tail uh, combat where you're going to have to use strategies from that point onwards and I'm talking about the one where you have to use strategies from that point onwards so you end up in this end game section and you are already level 40 you aren't even low on that list oh you lost Sorry, I'm not to get Jacob but uh, sidetracked. <laughs> So nonetheless, after I did that first uh, phase, I managed to gain quite a bit of levels. And I, I was wondering if my progress was ultra fast when I managed to reach level 60, because I didn't expect to be in Markgaard that soon. Six hours worth of gameplay and reaching Markgaard in a day from uh, being stuck in Brighton at the start of the day didn't sound like it was, you know, impossible stuff it sounded like i was doing things quite reasonably going into um uh ebon scale coming in and out in and out that, that's like nothing it's it's joke worthy to be honest and i'm wondering what else is there for me to complete in this place is that the guy who i have to kill This one isn't any Okay, sorry about that. I had to focus on the, the little fight. So it came to my 
my notice that maybe I had actually leveled much faster than most people. So, what more could I do to improve my state of play? And I realized that I could simply uh, try and do this one or two more times. So, I'm actually going to try and see if there was actually something that pushed me and propelled me through the game at such a fast rate and if it is possible i'm going to teach it to everybody so that anybody who wants to play this game and join in with their friends even if it's been a a, a year like it was for me they can simply get into the game and start uh, playing with everybody i'm going to list all the locations for the elite areas uh, once i figure them out so yeah i'm actually going to make uh, elite uh, area guide and show every single elite chest uh, that exists and every single elite zone that you can travel to in the game what uh, people call them and their various names like when i played we had pools mel uh we had imperial we had uh, mel we had mines and that's how we would get around the map those are the the locations that we enter. <laughs> um, so nonetheless, that's just the basics of uh, what I wanted to say. And then I'm going to break down something else, which is a little bit more confusing after this. Uh, so I've, I've given the easy stuff, right? How to make it to max level super quick. Oh man, you're kidding me. Where is the Captain Tuttle box? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, so yeah, I'm going to make a guide. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to restart an entire trip. And I'm going to show you where everything was in terms of... Where everything was for, for you to get yourself up to level 2 because overall that is where you want to be in order to be able to do um, level uh, that is where you want to be if you want to be uh, the end game. If you want to do Garden of Genesis and you want to do all of these other end game uh, activities, you just have to reach level 600 because beyond that is isn't really quite necessary. This guy is really hard to fight without the strategy. And as you can see, my strategy was block off most of his attacks and then deal large attacks right at the end to get out of the heavy fighting. Okay, so that is what you need to do. You need to farm those chests, get yourself up to a 600 gear score and from the 600 gear score you can actually move on to the next phase of uh, the gameplay now obviously if, if i'm saying this now and i know when i'm launching all of this you all are getting this as i'm about to enter into a massive competition so yeah this is going to be somewhere around the 20th or, or so that you're going to be seeing these videos right now Episode 1 will be the 21st, 22nd, this will be episode 3 in the New World series. So this will be around the 23rd of the month. I'm actually a few weeks ahead of it, but by the time this is over, I'm going to be way behind you guys. 
and there is a reason behind it and the reason is quite simple i won't be able to actually Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in a competition so I won't have any free time to actually play the game even if it is for making videos so that's going to be my big um, drop out from the content for a few weeks Oh yeah, completing all the missions on the map after I completed the main story has taken me a lot longer than I would ever have went to that day. So doing the side stories actually was quite uh, easy for the most part. And yeah, I was afraid that this is where I'm going to have to go. I figured that it might have been the, the pirate ship, <laughs> but anyway, uh, getting distracted with the actual gameplay, kind of a unique thing to have a problem with. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, there's going to be a new character created, I'm, I'm just going to rush that character to level 60 and then I'm going to delete that character. This, char this character is more than likely going to be my main character, so that character will go on a different set of servers and, and there's a simple reason behind it. You create the new character set on a new server set, just so that you don't have to worry about people complaining about that. Nonetheless, when it comes to getting that super fast level up, the key aspects are going to definitely revolve around you being able to uh, get to this level really, really fast. Because the faster you reach your end game,
All right. So anyway, once you reach that certain stage with uh, knowing your levels, which I will show you, um, that will be the first part on how to level yourself up. Now, I'm not sure whether I should stream that or whether I should actually do it the way I want to do it. That will be making videos with uh, arbitrary timestamps or just literally um, giving you six or seven hours of every single second of gameplay which is not something I want to do to be honest because that sounds a bit ridiculous uh, even, even in my aspect of being the content creator it sounds a bit ridiculous for me to uh, give you 6 hours worth of videos or 12 hours worth of videos or even 18 hours worth of videos because I don't exceed 18 hours in getting to level 60 that is 100% certain I know 100% I didn't exceed 18 hours but I do say it's 1.5 days because 12 hours per day is like the maximum you can play that's like uh, a saturday and a sunday if you work a monday to friday job and yeah that's just about the time that you have you have that 12 hours in each of those days because you're going to rest and then you're going to go out for the rest of that time so it's an unhealthy amount of play time for a saturday and sunday but you can do it if you're doing it across a week that will be basically two and a half weeks worth of two hour gameplay if you're doing it that way if you're going higher obviously faster four to five days and you've completed your level 60 climb in terms of getting to level 625 that's going to take me months and i already know what i'm going to do so i'm going to upgrade my forge i'm going to upgrade my armoring i'm going to upgrade my uh, engineering and i'm going to upgrade my furnishing like i always go after in every single playthrough and once i have all of that to a certain level that is when i am going to um, enter into the end game obviously it's not as simple as i'm making it out to be it is a lot more difficult than the simple explanation that i'm giving in terms of reality when you want to get to 625 there's doing all of these farms you can have a server where there aren't very big groups and aren't very talented groups doing all of the runs and a run can take you about an hour per location so if you're looking at it from what i know um right here in ebon scales ebon scale uh, reach there are three locations to run to get uh, max level gear so there's three locations with elite uh, boxes one is imperial palace which has uh six boxes three on the one side three on the other one at the bottom at seven sorry my mistake yeah seven elite boxes all together in imperial palace then outside of him no wait sorry there's eight at imperial palace so eight at imperial palace then there's the one that goes up on the spiral near near the imperial palace uh that place i think there's two there might be more than two uh, it wasn't one of the, the most most used uh, elite areas in the past so yeah that's gonna be it so that's one of the locations then the next location that I know of and obviously these aren't all of them is you go all the way into um, restless shores there's the wait, I'm, I'm not sure what they call it I'm just going to open it up here I've, I've run into it so I should be able to give you the name uh readiness uh, readiness <laughs> sorry i can't even pronounce, pronounce it myself so yeah it's a terrible way to go there is another elite area that's going to give you some gear it might give you a uh, leveling up gear i'm not 100 percent sure but i know that it is an elite area that you need for something uh this is scorpion uh, scorpion mines i remember this here because i used to run it every single day uh, this is where malevolence is uh, this big oh genesis of malevolence so yeah this entire big uh, blotched area that has no information that is your genesis uh, your malevolence run on this side there's uh, the mountain i'm forgetting what it's called there aren't any tags over here I'm, I'm not sure why uh but yeah all the way up here is an elite area there's four trophies all together yeah that's another location all on its own 
and yeah at the top as i said there's mark card everybody knows mark card um this is the big mark card area this is mines and this is also a part of mines so a lot of people don't know that there's actually two elite chests here at the bottom so you can run that this is also an elite area right here if i remember correctly uh <laughs> we can stand I, I used to solo this place because it wasn't that difficult and it's just two chests that you can uh, get out of that place that are really powerful then there's the whole sandstone i don't know anything about this place so yeah i'm just gonna give it out and this was also another location here where i have this um elite quest this is also an elite area there are four chests in this area if i'm correct otherwise i'm in the wrong area and that elite zone is somewhere else in this uh, urban scales reach right so yeah that, that's just a possibility the last one is here this uncharted landmark at the top this is the one that i was talking about right next to imperial palace so you come in here you run around and you're going to go up on staircases that move around these three mountains and eventually you're going to end up right on the peak and you're going to have a fight and that's where you get your elite chest as I said, I'm not sure how many are in this place because it wasn't a very frequented location for me. I should have actually collected that one already. So yeah, uh, that's basically what you're going to do for your leveling up. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, it's just given us a whole load of locations to run. They're not that fruitful. We're not going to get everything. From what he's saying, there's a total of about... 8, 16, 24. Uh, you could say there's about 32 chests altogether that I'm saying in the elite zones, in the regular elite zones. What's the chances are that I'm not going to land all of them? There is a chance you're not going to land all of them. That's 100% the chance. And obviously, from what I'm saying, uh, you're going to go there, you're going to try and get everything that you can, and you're going to either fail or you're going to succeed. And that's about it for getting the elite gear. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Brimstone Sands. Now yesterday was my first time going through what they call the Acid Pool run. And altogether, if I remember correctly, there were 3, 6, 12... I, I think there's about 20 chests altogether in the entire of Brimstone Sands which isn't a lot and there could be even more and I'm miscalculating what I picked up but altogether there's 54 chances for you to increase your level it may not seem like a lot for you to do uh, on a day-by-day -day basis but if you are in a small group a 20 or 30 man team and you've decided you're going to take on the game from a fresh start you'll jump onto a new server because your server has a wrecked market you go there you run around you do as I'm saying and you're going to be maxed out on your level. You're going to start climbing up in level really, really quickly. You take all that you earn for those first five days and you do not invest it in anything but pulling up your skills. Once all your skills are level 50, you can use scraps to get you up uh, to about level 100 and you can keep uh, harvesting all the low level materials. Your fishing, your Oh yeah, my, my fishing needs uh, some of those uh, level up materials. Uh, you get all of those materials and you'll reach level 100. Then once you reach level 100, you push them up to level 150. And obviously that's where you end up in that last push to get to level 200. It took me near 12,000 total gold to max out my, um, my wood crafting. Now the reason why I did that was it's fast XP. You've earned 12,000, you can choose how you're going to waste it. You can either waste it in a way that isn't going to help you, or you can take all of this green wood, just process it into regular wood uh, to timber, and then you can either pass it around within your members, or you can hold it and turn it into lumber, then turn it into star wood, then turn it into iron planks. Obviously, if you're in a large group, you can have guys who get their full woodworking up, uh, and guys who get their um what, what would be the right term who get their other skills up from the start so as they getting one skill up you getting another skill up 
that's the beauty of being in a team i think i've actually described that dynamic before you put guys on crafting one in each skill set one in each, each harvesting set and harvest and skill they work together they swap with each other every half an hour so that the game doesn't become too monotonous it is going to take you quite a bit of time if you're doing it this way to be honest it takes about uh, two weeks for you to reach level 60 but the big benefit is you will have all level 200 skills at your disposal the moment you start and there are some other things that i have actually omitted not um unwillfully but uh willfully so here's something else you can do it, it's something that i'm famous for doing whenever i have money and right now i don't have money even though i do have quite a bit you go onto the market you look for something like this you look at how many pages are available and you take uh, stock of the count of uh, modes so nothing here is above a thousand and on this page still nothing above a thousand once again nothing above a thousand so it's it's not going to kill you instantly even if there's 10 per page you're looking at everything and here's where it gets crazy there's too many at this high uh, point so what you're going to do is you're going to buy tons of things off the market till you reach this point and then you're going to put it in at this price range now when someone wants to craft something you're going to make 20 cents on an item if you put 20,000 items on the market that makes quite a bit of profit if if you're going to go all the way to the last page let's see how high 100 per so yeah the, this is somebody who's using it as a storage basically they want 600 they, they're holding on to the here till the end so all you do is you push them all the way up till this point here somewhere around four per and you stock up the entire market at that region lock it in load it up and you can rule the roost and all you've got to do is do that there two or three times a day buy out the cheap stuff throw it up at the high price people are going to have to buy at the high price because even if other people put on things at a cheap price it's not going to last very long and eventually you're going to make up whatever you have in differences and you're going to be at the top of the the totem pole 400 gold 500 gold people will spend easily for these simple items uh, i know that there because i've done it before <laughs> uh, and yeah you go up in a level it's going to skyrocket so once you've interfered with the first level you can see the sonya is already at six you're going to push this up to somewhere near 15. yeah there's only one page now i, I take all of this up way beyond this this is still very cheap and there's a likely reason why this is so expensive because it's four to make one no not four sorry it's five to make one and the lower region is less than one per so this is outside of uh, pricing for the way that you craft so once you get it up to four that will mean the share is worth 16 so that's where you push the minimum and you go up again with each one of your little trades and you push it up and push it up and that's how you end up with crazy figures getting you to where you want to go Let's see if any of these are really, really cheap. Let's go by price. Life mods. Let's go into the life arcane and let's have a look. How far does it stay under uh, 80? Nah, this is way too much for me to even purchase on my own. Yeah, somebody has quite a bit of uh, resources. Obviously, I, I'll reach that region at one point in the game and I'll start pushing the prices up very quickly. You're kidding me. Let's look at what perks it has. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is insanity. Okay. 
Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't buy that no matter what. Just looking at how ridiculous they are at the top of that list. Impressive. So anyway, that's been about well, all that I have. So catch you all in the next one. Straight. And yeah. that is what's probably going to be Raja my new character on the new server, wherever it's going to be. So it might not be the same US server that I'm on right now. The US um, section that I'm on. Uh, I've already got a European character. So most probably a US West. This is US East. So yeah, that's how I'll go with it. Create one more character and see how that goes. So catch you all then. Have a good day.